<laughs> now, we see it every time we have rainfall here, the risk of untreated sewage running off into our lake. And of course, it can affect water quality at our popular local beaches. Sure does, and that's why the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District has been working on a $3 billion project to keep the lake clean. News 5's John Kosick with us live right now from Edgewater. And John, well, we're almost halfway there. Yeah, halfway through this massive project that is really one of the largest in Ohio history, and it's one the public doesn't even notice. It's essentially under Greater Cleveland. What they notice are the results. When you have a gym like Edgewater that can stay open after a heavy rain. Below the west side of Cleveland, construction continues on the Westerly Storage Tunnel, stretching two miles under Tremont in Ohio City. When it opens in 2023, it will keep 330 million gallons of untreated water and sewage from being dumped into the Cuyahoga River each year. It's part of Project Clean Lake, a 25-year, $3 billion project to create seven massive storage tunnels under Greater Cleveland that will hold millions of gallons of water and sewage that in Cleveland travel in the same pipes from our homes to the water treatment plant. Normally in dry weather conditions, it's fine because all of those flows make their way to the wastewater treatment plant. However, when you have heavy rains, the pipes just aren't big enough and the plants don't have the capacity to handle the extra flows. So these tunnels will allow for the combined sewer and water to be stored until after a storm when it can be pumped out and treated instead of being released into the lake or Cuyahoga River untreated. It's a project we've been highlighting over the years. Back in the early 70s, a good 9 billion gallons of untreated water would right. flow through century old tunnels like these directly out into the lake. Now over the last four decades, they've been able to cut that down to about 4 billion. The goal eventually, get it down to under a half billion. This the Doan Valley Storage Tunnel is the third to go online, activated just last month. When you take those three tunnels in combination, we're able to capture 1.5 billion gallons of combined sewer overflow from the environment on an annual basis. And that's one and a half billion gallons that just a couple years ago would have been flowing freely into the lake and the Cuyahoga River. To put that into perspective, that's equal to the amount of water that flows over Niagara Falls in over a half hour. Now this $3 billion project, the good thing is it's under budget, under budget by a half billion dollars so far, which is good news because it is entirely ratepayer funded by you. Reporting live at Edgewater Park, John Kosick, News 5. Such an important project. Thanks so much, John. Wow. I learned that the hard way when I first got here. I went to the beach <laughs> with my family after a big storm and it smelled so bad. Uh -oh. I'm like, what is the problem down oh. here? And then I realized. <laughs> You barely yeah. said, hey, welcome to Cleveland. Haven't done that since. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Pretty common uh, along all the Great Lakes shores that this is a, an issue. So I'm glad they're trying to do something about it.